here with Coach Lape. You guys had a probably a first that you, you weren't hoping to have last night when you guys got swept by Wayne State, 1-0 and 4-0. You know, the game was interesting. The, the first game, uh, losing 1-0, um, hats off to both pitchers. Bailey Bauman threw very well for us to keep us in the game the entire time. Defensively, we were we were pretty sound. We made some mental errors, um, and then we had some physical errors as well on the field. But for the most part, we played as a unit. Um, and to lose 1-0 to Wayne right off the bat, I was I was really excited about game number two because I felt like we were finally getting on board. Um, our hits were going to come around, and things were going to start to click for us. And so um, moving forward in the game two. That was not the case. Again, we were we were putting the ball in play, uh, but we were finding their fielders every time we put the ball in play. It just wasn't getting up the middle like we did down in Florida. And so that was probably maybe the most disheartening thing for the out of both games was that we weren't able to carry over what we've been doing so well, and that is offense, um, into that game. And I would say that pitching-wise, compared to what we saw down in spring break, is really no different. Um, both pitchers did a nice job of locating and finding corners, um, but after that, we should have been able to do some more than what we did. Speaking of offense, you guys started to hit the ball really well in Florida. Was it, was there anything to do with you know just the, the schedule you guys had down there and the rhythm that you got settled into, and then you know two days off, a long flight, you know late night, and then you know jumping right into Northern Sun competition? Do you think there was any fatigue? You know there could be, um, but that's. Part of the scheduling is for that reason. Um, next year when we're in the northern sun, we're going to have this issue. We're going to have this problem where um, we might have a rain out during the week and we're going to get stuck playing Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we've got to figure out how to do that, how to keep us physically in shape to do that so that we're, we aren't fatigued. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it probably is that way, but it was set up that way so that we could prepare ourselves for next year. Um, so that when these things do happen, it's not a shock to our system. We've been there. We know how to battle through it. Um, and, and we know how to take care of business when we need to. Speaking of a quick turnaround, you guys play Augie tomorrow, which is, you know, a big game, cross, cross town rival. And I know the team's looking to have a better verdict than you guys did last year. You know, absolutely. You know, I think, I think if anything we take away from yesterday is that we played a team that is going to be in the top eight of this conference um, very well for 14 innings. I mean, we played both seven inning games. We didn't get run ruled, um, and we really competed with them. Now, uh, we would have hoped to pull out a W against them at some point there in game one or game two, but that didn't happen, and now we got to build on that. Uh, we talked to the girls after the game last night that, you know, we can't, we can't hang our heads right now. We have a lot of work to still do. Um, we got practice today that we really need to focus on our offense and how we're going to how we're going to put the ball in play against a very good pitching staff that Augustana has. Um, they also are offensively strong. I mean, if they go up there swinging the bats, um, we're going to have to make sure our pitching staff is on. And if Bales throws like she did, you know, against Wayne in the first game, we're going to be there. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that we can we can give a better verdict than what we did last year against Augustana. Um, it's going to take a full team effort, and we're going to really have to get to work today to prepare ourselves for Thursday. You just mentioned her, but Bailey Bauman continues to impress her. Her ERA just keeps going down and lower and lower, and she's really having quite the sophomore season. She is. This is this is exactly what I envisioned for her. Um, is and and she's maybe turned it on a little sooner than what I expected, just because of how long basketball went this year. Um, went into that last week in February, and we really didn't get bails until the start of March. And so, um, really, she's turned it on, and she's put in a lot of time outside of practice, outside of just game time, um, throwing and getting herself back to where she needs to be and, and that's paying off right now for the team and for herself. Uh, she's having a great sophomore year and it's only going to continue to improve. I am so excited um, for the rest of the season for her, um, even for Amanda Walters. Um, she's kind of, I think, in a little slump of herself, um, but we're going to continue to work with her. She's going to get stronger for us. She's a very nice compliment to Bailey on the mound and so having that one-two punch and having Bailey know that Amanda's going to come in and be able to throw the next game, I think it give, gives Bailey a little comfort that she just needs to go out and perform one game instead of looking at okay I need to save some for game two she knows game one game one or game two depending on where she's at in the lineup is her game and that's what she has to focus on some people have noticed looking at the stats that there's a significant bat that's missing out of your lineup why don't you tell us what happened to Naomi about a week and a half ago you know we lost a, we lost a great um, a great bat in the lineup you're absolutely right uh, Naomi Tesser went down uh, against Upper Iowa um, with a finger injury. Uh, we thought it was a uh, tendon that was um, 
actually taken off the finger, but that was not the case. It was just really kind of jigsawed in her finger. Um, the doctors, they had surgery. Um, the doctor uh, recorrected it. Um, she, she will get full movement back in the finger, which is, a, is truly a blessing um, because most of the time when the tendon comes off the finger, you don't get full movement back, um, which in her case she will now. Um, and so she's out for, for the rest of the season. Um, she's a great kid. she got a heart to play the game. Um, she'll be missed. Um, but now it's time for kids to step up, and, and we're looking for that kid um, to do that because down in Florida we didn't have Naomi either. And so down there we saw kids step up at the right time and do their job. Um, and so now we're looking for somebody to fill that void of, of where Naomi would be um, it, it, moving forward into our season. How did that change your lineup and around the bases? Who did you have on defense? You know that we shift a little bit um, and give it a different look every time. Um, if Bailey's on the mound, most of the time we move Kellen Dewey from shortstop to first base and move Katie Larson from center field into shortstop, which is pretty typical um, for Katie. Uh, she's played shortstop, second base pretty much her entire career. Um, outfield is something that she does if she needs to do it, um, but not something that she's done very frequently um, and so moving her into the infield was no shock to her system uh, she knew she knew the system that we were running she knows how to execute things and moving Kellen from short to first uh, again not really a shock because Kellen coming from her travel teams um, has played first before and so when Bailey's on the mound that's kind of the way we shift Amanda Walters plays right and Shay Ranke plays center um, if Amanda's on then it can sometimes be a different look it just depends um, if we want Bailey at first and Kellen at short and then we go back to our normal look with Katie in center and Shay in right or we leave our infield the way it is and we put Bailey out in right um, which is really not a shock to her system because last year she played right quite a few times if she wasn't on the mound. So game plan for practice today is just to reload and prepare for a very good Augie team, right? Absolutely. You know, today we really need to just get back to the grind of, of focusing on what we're doing and do our job, and that is offensively. Um, we, we have control of the plate, and we have to go up there with that control and be ready to take care of business on Thursday because, again, we're going to face a very good Augustana team. Um, but it's, it's good for us to match ourselves, to see where we're at um, in this northern sun as we prepare for next year. Thanks, Coach. Hey, thank you.